Hello students. So in this session we are going to discuss about DBMS languages. So what it means database DBMS languages. So to perform or to create a database, to manipulate, to uh, update or to delete a database or, or to perform some set of operations upon a database in a sense we need some set of language. So this type of language we will consider as a data DBMS languages. So the database languages are used to read, update and store the data in a database. So nothing but to read a data from a database, if you want to update any data which are already there in a database or again if you want to insert new data into a database in the sense in that particular time we need to use a, we need database management system, some languages. So that one we are going to discuss in this particular session. So better example we will consider it as a structured query language is a best example of a database management system language. So the, we have a different set of languages or different set of uh, uh, way uh, of long language in a DBMS, nothing but in a database management system. That one we are categorized into four category, uh, four types. First one DDL, second one DCL, third one DML, th fourth one TCL. DDL nothing but data definition language, DCL data control language, DML data manipulation language, last one transaction control language. We will discuss at the beginning data definition language. What it mean data definition language? As its name suggests data definition. So nothing but to define any some set of data, database we need some set of languages that one we will consider as a data definition language nothing but DDL. So DDL is used to define the structure or a pattern. Nothing but so if I want to store student information, uh, student dat data in a database in the sense so which in which particular structure we want to uh, create the database that structure uh, uh, we have to create if you want to create that particular structure in the sense we need to use the data definition language either it may be structure nothing but so in which particular order so if you want at the beginning at the first column I want to store the student number in the sense we need to decide whether that particular column contains a row a, num, a numbers only or combination of numbers and text to, so all those structures we have to decide similar way which the, um, what size we have to specify either it may be a six character or seven characters so eight or depending upon the size of a data which we are going to insert in a, in that particular column similar way how many number of columns we need to uh, 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 we need to specify in that particular table or which type of data and all we are going to store it in that particular table we need to decide that one. So that one is nothing but data structure and data pattern. So it is used to create schema, tables, index and constraints. So we know that one tables. So table nothing but so the, uh, the information which are formatted in our rows and columns that one we will consider as a table. So same data table we have if you want to implement it in a uh, uh, in a DBMS in the sense we need a data definition language to create a schema. So in the next session we are going to discuss about data schema in details then similar way to specify indexes and constraints. So constraints nothing but different types of conditions uh, we can apply to our data. So while it may be a inserting either it may be a manipulating the data it must satisfy thus that conditions and all nothing but constraints. Data definition language is used to store the data information of metadata like number of number of tables and schemas and their names, indexes, columns in each table and constraints etc. So all those details if you want to know in the sense we need to use a data definition language. So this one is about data definition language nothing but to create or to define a database structure or to define a database pattern we need a data definition language. So which and all. Uh, um, uh, task we can perform under a data definition language. So we have in a SQL we have a different commands and all. So for first one create. So that one is a command we have in a, a SQL. So what the usage of that create command is used to create an object in a database. Object nothing but either it may be a table, either it may be a schema. To create that one we need a create command. Alter. So alter nothing but is used to alter the structure of a database structure nothing but again so 
uh, after after inserting the data if you want to resize the size of uh, any particular column so for uh, just imagine for a name column if you assign 15 characters so depending upon our data if we need more five more characters in the sense in that particular time we can alter so we can alter the structure similar way we can add a column for that particular co uh, table or we can uh, uh, we can if you want to update and also we can use a alter command so drop so nothing but delete object from a database so already created database after some use we, we don't want in, don't want in the sense in that particular time we can delete that particular table from a memory permanently that one is nothing but drop command truncate so if you want to don't want to delete entire database completely but we want to delete only the records from a database in that particular time we need to use a truncate rename so rename command we are going to use rename the objects objects renaming nothing but if you want to from one particular name to one particular name if you want to change in the sense in that particular time we can use a rename next one comment is used to comment the data dictionary so upon any data if you want to apply some comments in the sense in that particular time we are going to use a data definition language command nothing but comment so this is the main task of data definition language after the after the data definition nothing but after creating a data base after inserting a some set of database we have to manipulate manipulate nothing but either it may be a retrieving the data from a database nothing but to view some set of data depending upon a condition if you want to view in the sense in that particular time that type of uh, 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 task will come under a data manipulation language and insert if you want to insert a new data if you want to update a new data or if you want to delete data some, uh, de uh, some data from a database in that particular time we want to use a data manipulation language so data manipulation language is used to accessing and manipulating manipulating the data in a data base third one after manipulating and all we need to uh, we need to control some language uh, uh, data so for that one so controlling nothing but so to give a grant so in case of so we know that one database will be uh, data will be if in the in a case of data is stored in a uh, shared area or shared location in that particular time data database will be shared with the, or used with the, or accessed with the multiple users in that particular time for a group of users only if you want to provide a permission nothing but granting a permission from from some set of users if you want to revoke the permission in a sense if you want to use a data control language nothing but dcl here we have a two control or uh, two commands for a dcl nothing but grant and uh, revoke last one transaction control language so we can create a database we can manipulate a database we can control a database after that one if you want to perform permanent save and all so for entire transactions if you want to perform any uh, which and all changes we have made that one if you want to make it as a permanent change in that particular time we need to use a tcl nothing but a transaction control language here we have a two commands nothing but a commit and roll back so with the help of commit we can make a permanent changes into a data uh, that a memory rollback is used to restore the database similar like undo option in a uh, um, in a computer language similar way it it, it undoes some set of uh, operation which we have performed in that particular transaction so this one is about data definition or uh, data dbms languages first one ddl dml dcl last one tcl Thank you.